was actually 15 when I first noticed the symptoms. It's just that there was no name to it. So I had gone to a few gynecologists and finally, like, you know, uh, they, they just told me that, okay, so you do have PCOS. I noticed that, well, firstly, my period just suddenly disappeared. Um, before that, it wasn't like super regular or anything, but then like, I think it went on for a few months and I did not have my period so I was like okay that's a bit weird I was also noticing um, some weird hair growth um, like very male pattern hair growth like my moustache was um, pretty like wow <laughs> like pretty noticeable I was having hair like under um, the, the belly button and stuff like that and I'm like okay I don't think this is normal and then also my acne was pretty bad and you know when you're 15 and having like bad skin everything just like wow body image issues at that time as the years went on I think the symptoms just got worse so like if I did get my period, like the cramps would be really bad to the point that I kind of had to stay in bed um, sort of thing. And I was noticing that I was very fatigued. Like it took me like a lot of effort just to kind of get through the day. And then when I got married, uh, I also noticed that it was really, really difficult for me to conceive. It was just like a lot of confusion. Like I knew something wasn't right, but you know when you don't kind of put a name on it or you don't really know like what's happening, it's just like okay what can I even do about it sort of thing so yeah there was just so much confusion and like I think PCOS one of the unfortunate things is that it's like it also shows up physically right I mean of course weight gain was like one of the things that, that I was struggling with also and it's just it, it, I don't know, it just kind of makes you feel a bit like my like, um, hopeless because it's not like I wasn't taking care of myself at all. Like, so I just felt like, am I okay? <laughs> like, am I broken? Like, what's happening, you know? So I think that that messes a lot with you guys. It was really like, I think a huge shift when I got diagnosed and I finally understood like, okay, so this is a thing. This does happen to women, so like what do I do about this? So I think that kind of like sparked a whole different thing, you know? Like I think it's really important to kind of know like what exactly is going on and then then a lot of healing can, can occur. Um, but I think one of the ways that was the most devastating is probably my mental health uh, because PCOS does have its connections to anxiety and depression as well. So I would get depressive episodes and I I went through quite extreme trauma in my um, teenage years and I think that didn't help either. So I should have been healing but I think PCOS just probably exacerbated um, that trauma also. So I was trying to have a positive outlook in life but I know I was really struggling time when we were trying to conceive but um, I think this was after I had taken um, a pregnancy test and it was negative yet again and uh, I was at that party and I just I don't know why like I just broke down and started crying in the middle of the party like like um, it got to that point where I'm just like is this who I am you know like is, is this the kind of person that I, I think I am and that I want to be so I think at that point uh, I just felt like no, we, let's let's dig a little deeper and try to understand like what is actually happening because I don't think this is the person that I am and that I want to be. Married in 2014, uh, so then after that one year mark, we're like, yeah, maybe, yeah, it'll be it'll be quite quite nice to have like a a, a baby right now. So then we were like, okay, let's just kind of like get into that mindset sort of thing. Uh, but then I guess after like two years of that, like nothing was really happening either, and I think at that point, like there was a bit of panic maybe rising inside me it's like uh oh like my biggest fear is coming through like, okay um this needs a little bit of a change please so I was like okay let's not focus on the baby part let's focus on getting healthy first um so I just kind of changed up the way I, that I ate and then I found that it was actually quite pleasant so I started to lose weight and then um my period actually came back and that was also like a huge thing for me I was like I could have like regular period cycles like a proper woman. <laughs> point I had already gone keto for about two years, I think two years or three years. So then uh, me and my husband were like, okay, you know what? I think we focus a lot on the health. Maybe we should focus on like the baby part now. And I'm like, yeah, I think that makes sense. And I think the timing is about right. And then at that time, I was also feeling a little bit weird and stuff. It's like, am I okay? And then at that point also, I seem to have lost my period again and I'm like oh no not again I thought I already had like a proper routine and I thought like everything was kind of working and then now my, my period is gone again and I'm like oh what else am I not doing right dear god and then um, we were gonna go for like a family holiday at that time and I think it would have been a bit strenuous so I was like 
should I just check? Like, should I just take a pregnancy test and just check and like, you know, just make sure. Like, I mean, I always take a pregnancy test just to make sure that I'm not pregnant. I already know the answer is going to be no. So I just take it just to be like, okay, yeah. So there's going to be just one line there. That's fine. But then it was really early in the morning and I took the test and there were two lines. And I'm like, what's happening? Is this test broken? Like, is everything okay? And I'm like, can you look at this test? Because I think it's broken. He was like, are we having a baby what's happening <laughs> so we were just both there like super blur on the bed and like what is happening and until like i think it took us a while for it to finally kick in and we're like oh my god we're having a baby <laughs> that was just so that was like a tip of one of like the cutest days of my life i i really 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 love that moment so yeah i mean it's been it's been like a long long journey but I'm, I'm so happy that it finally came at a point where you know like my body feels healthy and happy enough to like you know grow a baby so yeah at the end of the day um if we are looking to you know uh, boost our reproductive health how we choose to nourish ourselves is going to be really really important and also supporting that with a really wholesome lifestyle because usually when we talk about pcos and conceiving we're always talking about you know like the weight loss aspect of it but we're not really sure what else is happening right so i think the biggest biggest thing that we can do is to really just you know get a bit more in tune with our body nourish ourselves properly um have a um uh, suppose a wholesome lifestyle to support that